Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, man. So one of you guys asked me to make sure I let you know which one I like better, Snatch or this. So yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know which one is better to me, like which one I enjoyed the most. If any of you guys use Amazon Prime, I don't know if you like ever notice they give you like little tidbits of information here on the left. And they said this is like Jason Statham's uh, debut film. I was just thinking about it the other day. Snatch was the first full Jason Statham movie I've ever watched. Yeah, man, hopefully this one is as funny as the other one. I really enjoyed it. It was like, of course, you weren't laughing hysterically through the whole movie, but the plot and everything was fantastic. It was just a really fun movie. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. So let's see what this one does for me. See if I enjoy this one as much as I enjoy Snatch. Let's just go ahead and jump into it, folks. We'll talk about it more in the end. Left leg, right leg, your body will follow. They call it walking. You want one as well, mm -hmm. darling? You do, that's it. They're waking up. Treat the wife. Treat somebody else's wife. It's a lot more fun if you don't get caught. Hold on, you want Dude, one as well? Away, okay, Donna, show me a bit of life then. All right, all right. Keep your Allens on. You got all that money. <laughs> it's a ton. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you can a dozen donkeys on that. Chief ass. You're ugling over 100 pound. What do you do when you're not buying stereos, Nick? Finance revolutions. 100 pounds is still 100 pounds. Not when the price is 200 pounds, it's not. And certainly not when you've got Liberia's debt. Dirty bent and stolen pie in London. Between the two of them, there ain't much you can't get hold of. This voice sounds familiar. I think he's the crazy guy from Mom's Snatch, right? One with the pigs? That's my 25 grand. It took me a long time to earn that. So that was a weird shot. 100 grand. Well, if you got it, you got it. Now, if you don't mind. What's this any like, then? He's a fucking thief. Harry has a colleague, a monster of a man. He's better than good. He's a fucking liability. Here, hold on. I don't know what's going on with these what dildos, man. Is? We're selling hundreds. Oh, he's very sells. nice, Harry. The color in this movie is cool. It almost looks like somebody restored a black and white photo. You know how that color looks? It has that type of look to it. Like it was all black and white, and people just kind of like painted in the colors, kind of dulled out. And look as though you should be, but you're not. Fat. Who are you called? Jesus. It's good in here, isn't it? To say the yeah. least. What do you mean? He means they're thieving bastards. I mean, when they're not picking peanuts out of poop, they rip off unfortunate souls of their hard earned drugs. I'm in danger of breaking sweat at any second. Charles, why have we got that cage? You're look high as shit. Uh, security? We grow copious amounts of ganja, yeah? And you're carrying a wasted girl and a bag of fertilizer. You don't look like your average hoarder fucking culturalist. <laughs> That's what I mean, Willie. Yeah, it was goofy. Got some bad news for you, John. What the fuck? You mind your language in front of the boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Crazy ass. That includes blasphemy as well. John, tell you me. always walk around with that in your pocket. Oi! You use language like that again, son. You wish you hadn't. <laughs> right, we'll put the rest of the stuff in there. It's too crazy. You can go on a plastic bag tonight, John. Careful. Remember who's giving you this job. Right, I'm off. Is that a Jerry Call girl? He's done. It looks terrible. Tell her. Give two shits. Oh my god. What have they seen in their life? <laughs> well, it's just Tuesday. Guys on fire. What are you doing? Put that back. I was like, what a big Put ass thing. Back guns. Put it back. It's crap anyway. Oh shit. What sort of pub is this then? It's a St. Mowen pub. Sure, nice. Can't you see these people have got no money? They can't even afford new furniture. We've got the guns, what's the matter with you? Every time we do a job, you have to go burning people's feet. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Did he hit anybody? The recoil knocked the old dude back hard. You want to be more careful, old fella? You very nearly took my man's head clean off with that. Shit. Ten grand, blind. Gotcha. Oh, sneaky bastards. I 
I said, did you get those guns? Yes! We got them! Good. Gaddy, if you can hear me, get back in the car now, mate, okay? I only hit his hair though, right? He just was freaked out, I guess. Fucking southern shanty drinking bastard! Gaddy! Yeah. Come on. You got me, buddy. Now, please. Not now. Oh, you fucking bastard. So we don't have to turn them over because you can borrow. That's a rare flight. I need two hundred and fifty grand. No. You need five hundred grand to see me. That's if I want to see you. I expect, if you lose, of course, my money back within a week. Crystal, that's Sunday, okay? Piece of shit. He's gonna throw up. Is that it? Now let's see his fucking cards. Ooh, I want you here. Fuck you. Cold blooded, man. I will take a finger of each of you and your friend's hands for every day that passes without payment. All right, my son. Damn. <laughs> Cold blooded, man. I'll be sick of shit, too. He's then proceeded to batter poor Smithy to death with it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Killed by that was seen as a pleasant way to go. Hence, Achi Ari is a man you pay if you owe. Is this something you'd like to tell us? It's in the fireplace! Shut it, you idiot! It'll kill Shit. Yes, Golden, you were saying? It's in the fireplace! Just pull it out! It's in the bottom! Oh, dog! I think you want to have a look at this! You're going to let me mm. down now? Nah. I think still kill both I'm not you. finished with you yet. Jesus! Never saw you there. Hello, love. Hey girl, still you enjoying yourself? Is she compass? What do you think? It's not normal weed. It's some fucked up skunk class A. I can't think, let alone move shit. Doesn't sound very good to me. I need to me. It depends what flicks your switch. And the light is on and burning brightly for the masses. Anyway, do you know anyone? I know a man, yes. I don't normally have anything to do with weed, Nick. But if it is what he says it is, I'll take it off him for three and a half grand a key. That is if it is what he says it is. But just let me tell you one thing. If the milk turns out to be sour, I ain't the kind of pussy to drink it. Ah, oh, shit. A few nights ago, Rory's Roger Iron rusted. So he's gone down the battle cruiser to watch the end of a football game. A fat geezer's north opens. That's fucking it, says the geezer. That's fucking what, says Rory. And he gobs out a mouthful of booze covering fatty. He flicks a flaming match into his bird's nest and the geezer's lit up like a oh, leaking a gas pipe. Rory, unfazed, turns back to his game. His team's won too. Oh, there was a couple of old Amalok muskets the butler was carrying. But they were ours, we sold them. We well, were unselling shellfish. We had to sell them, we needed the money. If you don't want to be counting the fingers, you haven't got, I suggest you get those guns. Quick! God damn. Did they sell them to him? How much do you want for these muskets? 700 each. Oh, what's that? A pound for every year they've been about. I know they're <laughs> antiques, but I ain't paying antique prices. He likes your bar. He looks familiar. Yes. He wants your bar. Or your son. Damn. Cold plank thing. First. It's a case, but it's never locked. Is it plank? Never. It don't want to be. <clears throat> These? Jesus. Oh, no. Let's keep them covered up, eh? Can you got anything a bit bigger? What? What that? I was about to say, like, machete. Crazy. God damn. Tough love. Is that Sting, the musician? Don't butcher me if I'm wrong. I have to look it up out of this. Where did you get these? A fucking museum? Nick the Greek. I think knives are a good idea. Big, fuck off shiny ones. Because they don't make any noise. And the less noise they make, the more likely we are to use them. Makes it look like we're serious. 
So, is there something we should know about you? I would say it makes sense, but he sounds crazy. I'm not sure what's more worrying. <laughs> the job or your past. What are you doing, Blank? What do you think I'm doing? Oh, hang on. What are you doing? Look I'm not the guy. Now. Oh, I said I'm not the fucking guy. <laughs> That's it. Go, go, go. Fucking go. Oh, shit. He passed out. What's going on down there? Do they have cameras? Shit. Jesus Christ, what dude. What the fuck's that? It's me brain gun. Don't you think you could have put something a little bit more practical? Ah! Is that a pellet gun? You shot me! Oh, shoot, sure, I'm back! Ah! <laughs> shit! I've been shot. This is goofy as shit. This. Could everyone stop getting shot? <laughs> Fuck, I don't even tell you what the hell it goes. Christ, Rambo. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was the Ringo. It's not going to draw a ton of attention. You're a dead man. I understand? Right. Dead. No ifs, no buts. You're a fucking dead man. All right, all right. Right. Now have I got your attention? Firstly, I'm going to blow his toes off. Shit. There go his toes. Now, if you want me out of here, in five minutes flat, open the fucking gate as I'm gonna blow his leg off. Go and have a look. At what exactly? Well, the vans are full. So? So, all I've got to do is fill it up, put you in it. What? Shit. And I'm off. Why won't you just take the ticket? Oh, it just seems like we... Oh, man. Prick. Do it quietly. I forgot about the druggy girl. It's time to say goodnight, nurse. Oh, shit. Oh my around. god. <laughs> Why did you just there? Oh no. Tie them up, tape them up, hands and face. On the floor! Bend over the fucking desk. Dude, not scared at all. Keys. I want keys. Now. He was way too calm, man. Jesus, that wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, it's too easy. Too easy. A shitload of cash. Wait a minute, the cop, dude. And a traffic warden. What? Oh, keep saying cop, a traffic warden, yeah. Jesus, have we got a traffic warden? <laughs> Don't touch him up, knock him out. I'll knock you out in a minute. Look, oh. you want to knock him out? You knock him out. <laughs> These are buggers. <laughs> It's about time you gave my young friends a visit, Chris. All right. We'll take it. Half price. Well, I don't think you'll like that. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Never replace the glass. Yes. Take that round to Snow White and the three little chemists. They should have a gander of that. I want a second opinion. To get that money to Harry, dude. We shot one of them. But some shit go crazy. Throat. What do you want in the middle? I'll shoot you in the fucking throat if I don't get my ganja back. He's got less brains than you, Lenny. Shit. Nick. The greasy. Man. This shit's about to go crazy, man. The clean flip. 
I know you couldn't have known my position, because you're not that stupid that if you did, you wouldn't have turned up here scratching your ass with that what's going on here look slapped all over your Chevy Chase. <laughs> but what you do know is where these people live. Because if you don't, I'll kill you. <laughs> now, Mr. Bubble and Squeak. Crazy ass. You may enlighten me. You little shit! <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck, dude. Man. All the pieces are coming together. And it's making me nervous. <laughs> Everybody confused. <laughs> Crazy how this dude keep a straight face through everything. Well, you're supposed to be the odd case. You go and get the guns, I drive the car! <laughs> Shit. So I'll make sure I fuck the one that was coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody crying? Jesus Christ, this is the last one standing. Oh shit. They were lucky as shit. I'm gonna try to rob the guy they're trying to get the guns for. Porking. Fuck. I didn't even get a shot off. Fantastic. Son? Man, if you quit, did you? Oh, That's what shit. I You're right down there, mate. Very fucking funny. Where's what I want? I've just left it in the office. Well, we better go to the office and get it in. That's if you want your son to see his next birthday. And a chop fucking chop. Hold on. Yeah, it's just stressful. It. This is our bag. What is going on? I don't know, but what I do know is there's no more Harry, which means there's no more debt. And if there's no more debt, there's no more problem. And there's no problem with the neighbors because they're all dead. We haven't done anything wrong and we're in the clear. Oh shit. Shit. Who did run this on? Oh my god, he's up there in the guns. Jesus Christ, this is stressful. Now this was an embarrassing position for Tom to be in. But Chris had to respect the fact that he was holding what appeared to be a pair of loaded shotguns. And Tom had to respect the fact that they were not loaded. So without anybody losing too much face, Tom left through a side door and Chris left with the money and everybody else got arrested. He's not one of them. Yeah, lucky right, as shit. I'm all right. Super lucky. Yourself. Oh, I'm all right. You'll have to do better than fucking appears, my friend. Well, everybody's dead, Dad. I think that's about as clear as you can get. How about that drink? True that. You know where the bar is. Hey. You making a walk? You're lucky you're still breathing. Cold blooded. Well, I did almost make him lose his bar, so. Tough love again. I'm taking a risk for 700 pounds. Tom, you're a dick. Now you take those guns Unless and you throw them off a bridge. And what the work? yourself off while you're at it. Nah. Tom. Is he really gonna throw those over a bridge somewhere? Look, all now, now, Tom! Tom. <laughs> ah, shit. So I've decided to bring your bag back. I think the words you're looking for, gentlemen, is thank you. I didn't expect this at all. 
There is one more thing. It's been emotional. <laughs> I like this dude. I like the mismatch too. <laughs> Cold blooded. So what's it called? He was letting them know that the goal is gun to work money. And he's gonna toss them in the fucking lake. Fuck, dude. What's his number? <laughs> Come on, man, answer the phone. Is he gonna drop the phone? Look, you'll break the phone! Okay, so I just guess you just left there not knowing for sure if uh, they're gonna if he's gonna answer the phone, drop the gun, or what's gonna happen. But still, this is a really good movie, man. I really enjoyed this a lot. Um, there wasn't a lot of as much like you know like jokey moments in it, or I would say as many like funny moments in the movie as uh, Snatch. Like Snatch, didn't have a ton either, but there was a lot more funny moments in Snatch. This is a really good movie. I don't know. It's hard to say which one I enjoyed the most. They're both really good. I like the style of this one. I like how it was shot. It looks like it was like desaturated or something. And I really like how this came together, like like Snatch did. And and the whole time things are coming together, I'm like nervous the whole time. Like, what's going to happen? Who's going to get killed? I thought, oh boy, when he had the shotguns, was going to end up getting into like a gunfight with the other guy who's kind of like a tank with the sun. Like, I thought they were going to get into like a gunfight or something together. So like, you're like nervous the whole time. And then they leave you on the ending parts where you don't know what's going to happen for sure. Like, I don't know if he's going to get the guns, if they're going to get the money, like they're going to be able to sell the guns to get the money. And when I saw the car, I was wondering, like, did he take like half of the money? I didn't expect him to take all of it. And I didn't expect him to even bring the freaking bag. But it looks like he was looking out for him and he gave him the gun book, book to let them know like hey those two guns you got are worth some money he didn't need to do that you know yeah man i like this i like how everything came together i like this movie i had to look up to see if that was sting because he looked familiar i was like he looks familiar and i was thinking the whole time and i was like i think that might be sting when they showed, when they showed him again i don't listen to like sting's music but i remember seeing sting like doing a music video on like disney channel or something i can't remember exactly when it was but i do remember Sting from like disney channel or something like that where he was he was doing a soundtrack or something like a making of a disney movie but don't quote me on it i have to look it up and see but yeah i'm pretty sure that was sting i know they weren't playing the same roles but i'll say four actors carried over to this movie from snatch oh boy who was doing a narration because he was a bad guy in snatch of course Jason Statham, the big tank guy with the kid, carried over to this one. And I thought there was one more person who carried over from the previous one. The 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 guy who's working with the guy with the weird Jerry Curl, curl then he had like a fro or whatever, like the two eyeballs when he shot the shotgun and like part of his hair and stuff. The smaller one sounds like he may be from the same place that Lister is from on a Red Dwarf. Their accents sound very similar to me. I could be wrong, but they sound very similar to me. And overall, man, this is really, really good. I really enjoyed this movie, but I promised I would say which one I liked more. So I have to, I, let me think. It's really hard to pick which one of these I like better because they're very similar films. But like I said, there was a bit more comedy in Snatch. So that gives it a point up. I like the villain better in Snatch. The crazy guy with the glasses, I can't remember his name, but I thought he was a really good villain. Then we were on the hatchet guy was crazy in this as well. Then we were, like I said, the hatchet guy wasn't a bad villain, but I did like the other guy more, the one with the glasses. I just think he was a better villain. I really liked everything building up to the end of this movie though. With all how all the pieces came together, I liked how all the gangs end up, the, the two gangs end up killing each other, and just how everything unfolded. I liked that a little bit better. The the Brad Pitt like story arc was really good as well. How how he was like you know throwing a fight and stuff and all that, and just collecting the money the whole time anyway. He was playing everybody the entire time, and I did not know that. I did not see that coming. He just seemed like a goofy guy selling dogs and who can like you know, bare knuckle box. But yeah, I like Brad Pitt's story arc. I like everything that was involved with that and how it wrapped into the end. So that was fantastic, but I still will say I like this ending more. I like how this movie was shot. It was it was very unique. Like I said, it felt like the color was like really desaturated, almost like touching up an old black and white photo and then adding color over it. That's what it kind of felt like to me. But a very very unique, almost like how you know Zack Snyder's films, like how it has a, it looks like they almost put a filter or something over it. It was like this is very like very unique and made it stand out to me. So I like that. This is a hard choice. Hmm. Rapid story arc. Old boy is a better villain. The ending in this, how it was shot. I preferred the comedy and snatch a bit funnier. Like there are funnier moments. It's definitely tough. There are a lot of crazy people in this one. There's a lot of crazy people in Snatch too. And the music was really good in this one as well. It was good in Snatch too. Huh. I like how the James Brown music like matched the situations. Like the lyrics from it. That was cool. The stories are told very similar in both of them, but they still stand apart. You know what I mean? They're two completely different stories, but they're just told very very similarly. Like the way things unfold and the pacing and stuff like that. That really doesn't help me make my decision though. <laughs>
But since I said I'll give an answer, I'm going to go with Snatch. Yeah, I'm going to go with Snatch. Because of the whole Brad Pitt like story thing where he was like hustling everybody and they got their revenge and killed old boy. The guy was a really good like villain to me. I think he did a really good job playing that role. I like how the story came together in that one too, just like this stuff came together in this one. I like the comedy more. Yeah, and Snatch. So, yeah, dude, right now I'm going to go by Snatch, but it's super close. It's like very close. If I was given like a, if it was like on a, a score system, if it was like one through five or one through 10, and let's say a Snatch was a 10, this would be like a 9.99. It's very close. It's a very similar, but I'm going to go with Snatch. Probably because of comedy, Brad Pitt's um, story arc, and then the guy, he's a really good villain to me. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. All right, guys, man, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.